In this video, we have a compressive force of 800 newtons acting on a block. We need to find the normal stress and shear stress in a cross-sectional plane that is drawn at a 30 degree angle through the block as shown in the diagram. The plane has a width of 0.1 meters and a length of 0.115 meters. Let's first review what shear stress and normal stress is. Shear stress is when the force is acting parallel to the cross-sectional plane as pictured on this slide. Normal stress, on the other hand, is when the material is either under tension or compression force. This means that if you were to take a cross-section of the material, the force would be acting 90 degrees perpendicular to the cross-sectional area, as pictured on this slide. The first step of this problem is to find the area of the plane. The plane has an area of 0.1 by 0.115 meters. Plugging this into our calculator, we get an area of 0.0115 meters squared. Now we can think back to the object on an incline plane problem that we previously completed. For stress, it is very similar. We have a compressive force going straight from left to right. We can break this force down into a component that goes parallel to the plane. This is the shear force. We can also break down the compressive force into a force that goes directly perpendicular to the plane. This is the normal force. Now we have a right triangle that we can use trigonometry, more specifically SOHCAHTOA, to solve for the shear and normal force. We are given a compressive force of 800 newtons, which will be the hypotenuse or longest side of the triangle, and an angle of 30 degrees, which will go at the rightmost corner of the triangle. Recall that the sine of an angle equals the side length opposite of the angle over the hypotenuse. We can rearrange this formula to solve for the unknown, which is the side opposite in this case. So we can use the sine of 30 degrees times the hypotenuse of the triangle to solve for the shear force of the opposite side of the triangle. After plugging in our numbers, we get a shear force of 400 newtons. Now recall that the cosine of an angle is equal to the side adjacent of the angle over the hypotenuse. Rearranging this, we get that the compressive force or hypotenuse of the triangle times the cosine of the angle will result in the normal force. After plugging in our compressive force of 800 newtons, we get an answer of 692.8 newtons for the normal force. Now we can take the shear force we found over the area of the plane to get the shear stress. In this case, we have a shear stress of 34,782 newtons a meter squared. Similarly, for normal stress, we can take the normal force we found over the area of the cross-sectional plane to get the normal stress. We end up with a normal stress of 60,243 newtons of meter squared. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.